Hello everyone, my name is EdMac4 and welcome to Song of the Deep. Now, this is uh, a, a few attempts later to try and to try to record this game because uh, technical issues, but we're gonna roll right into it anyway. So this game is a Metrovania type of game. It's a side scroller. Uh, it's got puzzles, uh, boss fights. It's really interesting. It, it's made by Insomniac Games. Uh, the creators are Ratchet and Clank, which are one of my favorite PS2 games of all time. Great, great franchise. The new movie came out, uh, but it was kind of lackluster. Anyway, uh, I can talk about that later. We're going to go on and create a new game because I tried creating a game last time and uh, they all glitched out on me. It kind of crashed. All right. I got to listen to the story again. Merrin loved the sea. She loved the sound of the waves calling to her through her window. She dreamt every night no skype, of the skype. mysteries that lay beneath. Her father was a fisherman. Each day he went out to sea, and each night Merrin waited at the rocky cliff edge. It's probably just me. To guide him safely home. But this game reminds me them, kind of of Treasure Planet. The roof was leaky, and they sometimes went hungry. But as long as they had each other, Merrin knew they would be okay. Also, where's the Bob? At night, her father sang her songs about his great adventures. He sang of giant leviathan serpents, haunted caves, and a lost city of gold beneath the sea. <laughs> Merrin knew the stories were I see brief, you, Squid Thulu. But she loved to listen to them. It's like it's mine. She drifted off to sleep, imagining the wonders of the world below. Uh and her life Isn't that cute? That way, simply and happily. Until one night, her father didn't return. Marin held up her candle at the cliff's edge all through the night, oh, I staring get it. out at the empty so sea. So he went into the she ocean and the didn't come back. She That's why she goes into the ocean. The next day. Her eyes welled with tears as night fell again, and there was still no sign of her father. At last. She collapsed into sleep. I like the storybook. Gone, trapped deep beneath the sea, like calling to her for help. Elements to this, these cutscenes. She cut with a, jolt. a desperate and dangerous plan was already forming in her head. She took scraps of metal and wood her father had caught in his nets and pieced them together. She hammered and bolted. She measured and sawed. And before the sun had set, she had built a tiny. Yeah, you guys can do anything if you put your minds to it. With trembling hands, she squeezed inside and dove down beneath the waves to search for her father. That's straight up a barrel. With a piece of metal and a glass attached to it. So the Glow Cup Forest has been one of my favorite places. Actually, I want to look up right now what has the... So I was talking about this when I tried recording the first time, but I'll bring it up when we get there. Kelp Forest Aquarium. Monterey Bay. That's what it was. So we're going to be in this area, this, this glow kelp forest. It's really pretty, um, but it reminded me of the Monterey Bay Aquarium. And it's this aquarium in California that has a giant kelp forest in a tank. Um... It's the only aquarium to do that. It's really cool. And I believe they also have uh, sea otters that live on the surface as well. And some like other creatures. I want to go in. I know. Uh, there's so many secrets. See, look, you can see me. Kind of cool. And isn't that pretty? The waves shimmered with mystery. Glow kelp bulbs lit up around her as she passed by. Okay, so I need to come back for that. Coins. Coins she are good. Spotted some odd looking old coins. Maybe her father would know where they were from. 
Can I just go this way? No, I didn't. No, yes, I did. Oh, that's just another way of going about it, I think. I really like the soundtrack. It's very eerie. It's very uh, adventurous. It's interesting. We hello crab. Oh, it makes a little scuttle noise. Like a yeah. Woo! Probably not very hard to miss those things. Um. Oh yeah, I gotta get. I have to get the magnet. Flickered and danced on the sea floor, like an underwater fire. Oh, I don't think her I went there last time. told her about a mysterious living energy called time. Ah. Could that have been a time wellspring? Hmm. Time. Where, where is this like downdraft coming from? Like this current. A seahorse made of clockwork gears darted out of the way as Marin approached. She wondered who could have built such a curious creature. It's so big. Why is everything in this in this ocean so much bigger than me? Thank you. We I love the muns, the sweet muns. Hmm. Magnet claw. A versatile magnet claw capable of grabbing, pulling, and attacking. A glowing scrap of metal and pulled it inside. It was claw shaped and had a strong magnetic pull. I like that. She took out her tools and attached it to a firing Axe. mechanism on her steering column. Hmm. Can I break through this? Probably not. Probably have to like get a bomb or something. Whee. So why would this be laying around? Direct. This is a save. Thank you. And this goes back up there. Okay. I wonder. Can I? No. Don't you dare. Yeah. So I got this game ar around uh, 2 a.m. actually. Uh, because I heard it was coming out today. And I thought, you know, uh, uh, I'm up late. Why don't I see if I can buy it? And uh, shock nettles ahead of her. these guys suck. She had to be cautious. As the hostile creatures would attack her on sight. Anyway, uh, and I picked it up. And I'm like, wow, I can actually play it. Should I stay up all night playing, recording it? Well, it didn't happen. It's like almost eleven now. Kind of like my sleep. <laughs> I know, I know, Yusuf in the comments to be like, no, you don't. Sleep through the week. Uh, <laughs> he stays up all night. It's not healthy. We get out of here. I like the sound. I like the noise they make when you hit them. Ow. All right. Come on, bro. There aren't any more secrets, are there? No. Oh. No, that just spawns it. Why would something be spawning bombs? That's what I want to know. 
There's lots of little secrets in this game. A sleeping guardian oh yeah, first boss fight. She knew it all too well. Only ten Father minutes Storms. in. And she knew it must never be woken. Oh crap! I woke it. <laughs> Oh. Get out of here, son. Alright. He's not that hard. I just kind of suck at the game. He only takes three hits. Come on. Yeah, get wrecked, random head. According to her father, the guardians had been built by ancient Hello, undersea stores. Hello, mystery. Marin always thought the Fomori were a myth. Now she wondered if her father's other stories might be true. Hmm. Oh, a little green gem. Oh, I see what I got to do. Yeah, I will have to come back. So this guy, he is quite peculiar, but actually what you do is you bring him and plop. Oh. About the brave and beautiful arrows. The brave and beautiful arrows. Hmm. Can I break this? Please? Okay. The claw also damages enemies. Yes, I know. These are such huge shells. Like, why? Am I just like shrunken? Is this like an episode where SpongeBob shrinks the submarine to go into Squidward's body? Yep, yep, yep. I'm just gonna take you. Don't mind me. No, don't shoot it. All right, I gotta deal with these guys. Ow. These guys are the worst. Thank you. Come here. Come here. Thank you. I am quite hurt. Where... No. No, get out of here. I, I just want to be left in peace. Uh-uh. Mm-mm. I ain't having it. As Marin explored, <laughs> Dive. The terrain on a sheet of cartography paper. This is where it crashed for me. Her father taught her that those who make maps are never lost. Huh. <laughs> I would have to agree. Hello, starfish. Okay, that is just a random glowing starfish. No. I thought so. Did you follow me all the way down from there? Whoa. Oh. Marin from a rocky ledge. Oh. On his back, he carried a vast array of odd-looking treasures. Whoa, look at that. They're, they're, oh, they're eels. That's what they are. Alright, you want to trade? I'll, I'll trade this. The crab seemed to like shiny <laughs> objects. Oh, no, it takes Maybe gold. Maybe be willing to make a trade. 400? Concussion claw increases claw's damage. Okay. Interesting. Okay, I'll have to. I'll have to come back. <laughs> You're kind of cute. You you remind so you remind me of uh, my friend's pet. Uh, a while ago, um, I, I, a long time ago, my friend Tyler had a hermit crab. He had a lot of hermit crabs, actually, but he had one hermit crab in particular that lived a very long time. And, uh, because it freaking ate all the other hermit crabs he had. What is that? I have to open that somehow. Yeah, it was a vicious hermit crab. 
I want to go home. Okay. That's fine. Ooh. Hmm. Throw it? No. Okay. I guess I have to go up. Whee! Yeah, suck it. Ouch. Oh my gosh, there's a whole bunch of them. Yeah, more gold coins. Where do these guys come from? You know, I'm starting to imagine this is why her dad never took her on any adventures. Did I have to bring that head from all the way back there? Or no, there's gonna be a head. Oh, okay. Hello. I'm just gonna go and. Oh, do you want your pearl? Hmm. So many things to do. Okay, I'll go this way. No. Okay. I'll wait for it to stop. Come on, come on, come on. Yes. Come on. Yes, okay. What's up here? Huh. Oh, danger! Let me injure you. Thank you. Ooh, it's a little treasure chest. Get out of here. Dude, those EMP jellyfish. Them, them nettles. They suck. Okay, so that brings me back. Oh, there's a pearl. Get out. Yeah. What? I don't want to die. Can I even die in this game? I imagine I can since there's a health meter. Get out of here. Yeah, two for one. So I imagine this. Giant clams were notoriously picky eaters. Each one seemed to prefer a different kind of treat. Hmm. You want one of these? I didn't think giant clowns would open up like that. Oh, uh, nope. I guess not. Do you want... Are you sure you don't want one of these? It's a walnut. Oh. Nope. Doesn't want it. Man, you suck. Clam. Yeah, I can break. I can't break you. Come on. Ooh, what are those? They're like eggs. Secrets. I think I have to go back, but I will wait. Where to go? Where are the walnuts? Oh no, I have to bring this. Uh, before it explodes. Yes, those things will explode if you don't do it in time. Boost jet. I knew I had a boost. 
A sophisticated propulsion device capable of boosting sub. May an undamaged propulsion oh, device. Oh, finally. Marin vaulted it onto the back of her submarine, eager to test out its effects on her lightweight craft. Oh. 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 Oh my gosh, her face. I am really close to dying. Does that heal me? It does heal me! That's awesome. Suck it. Oh. So I have a boost, so now I can just do this. Wait for it. Suck it, please. Can I boost through things like this? No. Hmm. I want... I wonder if this has to be given to the other clam. Hold on, I saw another clam. It's, uh, it's down here, right? Yeah, it's this way. Do you want a walnut? No. Give him the walnut. Please? Ah. Uh, do you want... A... Uh, a shell? Punch. Might be a whelk shell. No. Don't do that. The controls are nice, but they're sometimes they're not very intuitive. No. Don't. Don't throw like that. Stop it. No, you want it. Suck. I'm, I'm, I'm over you. I need to go to the right. Oh no, never mind. I didn't go down. Or up, actually. Up and around. Hello. Oh no, this is where I grabbed the boosty. It needs to recharge. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, screw you, current. I am going the right way. I want that. I want it. Hmm. Can I go? I can go this way. Okay, all right, all right, this is what I do. Wait for it to recharge. I don't know where to go. Oh, it's right here. A super throw. What? That's crazy. Pro, pro commentary, guys, pro commentary. The Mera Ruins. Whoa, whoa! Jellyfish. In awe, all around her. She knew this place from her father's songs. These were the lost ruins of the Meros. Jellies blocked Merrin's path. Oh. Although the creatures could be deadly to the touch, they were very shy and even avoided each other's light. Do I have to dodge you guys? No, I don't think so. Okay. 
Yeah, I'm not going through you guys at the moment. I wonder... Will this make a difference? Nope. Alright. Game pretty close to wrap up the episode. I'm trying to make these longer so I can... Uh, ooh. I see the light shaft. I wonder if I'll ever run out of oxygen. What is that? That's cannon! Do I just have to... Oh, do I have to grab it? Ouch. I'm gonna try and grab it. Hold up. Nope. Alright. I'm out. Houses, wondering if a Meru girl once lived there, and if her father had sung her lullabies about the world above. No, oh, not close enough. Come on. Oh my God. So that's what happens if you die. Oh. As if recovering from a bad dream. Huh. For a moment, she thought she had experienced her own death, but it had merely been the time showing her one of the many possible roads ahead. Wow. <laughs> That's interesting. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'm actually going to end the episode here. Uh, I really like this game. It's interesting. It's a nice, uh, fre it's a f new, fresh game that uh, I just haven't played a game like this in such a long time. Um, I really enjoy it. I highly recommend that you guys pick this up too for just 15 bucks. There is a collector's edition that's like 30 bucks, and I was thinking about getting it, but I don't really love this game that much. Uh, and I think that was only available for pre order, and I kind of missed it. So. That being said, uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Uh, yes, this is a new Let's Play. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to finish it completely like right away because I am doing Quantum Break and I am doing uh, Mirror's Edge with uh, Shone. So we'll see. <laughs> There's plenty of games to uh, be played. Uh, so um, who knows? Anyway. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video because I know I did. And if you guys want to see more uh, videos like this, check the links and annotations uh, in the description below. And as always, I'm NMAC4, and I'll see you later.